Tools for Thought have always brought with them a promise of compounding or cumulative knowledge building and thinking. All the knowledge work you do today can and should make the work you do next year better, more interesting, and more remixable. And yet, most TFT users never realize the feeling of compound or cumulative thinking. Like, I've been in this community for more than five years, and it's a unifying experience. People joke about how they never review past notes, so they feel like they're going into a dark abyss, uh, never to be seen again. They're trapped using only the knowledge and ideas that come to mind in the moment. As a result, the labor they put into maintaining a knowledge graph feels unjustified, causing them to switch to another app that can deliver them to this elusive compounding mind. Expert users, however, recognize that compounding is not a software feature, but a user behavior, specifically searching your previous records in the right moments. Um, the expert users don't start with a blank page. They instead reference in uh, previous notes and that are going to be exactly a fit for the sort of thinking they're trying to do. Novice users have trouble learning and internalizing this behavior and therefore miss out on the value. They don't recognize the situations where they could write a search and they can't think of ideas for what to put into the search bar. However, uh, software can facilitate this behavior and, and enhance its value. In order to fix this broken feedback loop, a tool for thought must resurface contextually useful information to the user without requiring significant manual effort. Every time this happens, it's a hit of dopamine that makes the user feel smart and justifies adding info to their knowledge graph. So I'm experimenting with this idea, um, which I'll show you, it, which is a way to embed the behavior into a product itself as a workflow that's part of the user's regular note and knowledge creation. It's far less disruptive. Um, and this is going to utilize the new capabilities of LLMs added to users TFD, um, unlocking power user expert workflows in a novice user's product experience. This is just going to dish out aha moments earlier, <laughs> earlier in the user's life cycle than we've ever seen before while requiring minimal effort. With clever design, we can reach the ideal where your prior self becomes your current self's greatest research assistant. The best tools for thought so far have been advanced libraries. Compounding knowledge requires librarians. Here I've got an essay that I'm working on on the left. I've written down some thoughts, but I know that I need to build on it. On the right, we see a GPT-4 prompt that is generating provocative questions. In theory, the user could change the prompt to whatever they want, but let's start with this one as it encourages a style of thinking that I want to explore. There's a shuffle button to generate different questions, pin to keep the ones that you like, edit to change one, and then this looking glass. If you use the edit button, you can write your own question, but part of the design goal here was to help the users who don't know what to search for. If you click on the looking glass, the system is going to try to help you to answer the question by finding previous notes that might be relevant. It changes the sidebar and translates that question into a search over your, knowledge, your whole knowledge graph. Um, behind the scenes, it could just be running a semantic search, or it could do the hide methodology, generating a response and then searching for text with semantically similar words to those in the response. It shows you the titles of the pages that come up, as well as specific paragraphs that it thinks might be helpful to answer your question. You'll also notice this summarize button. If you click on that, then it's going to take all of those results and it's going to summarize those into a few paragraphs. This can be really useful for uh, reducing the size of search results. Like if you just have so many that you have to look through, then that's going to be more distracting to your workflow. Whereas a quick little summary uh, is something that you can just visually scan very quickly. So let's say that we really liked um, 
the search results that we were given. We like the question. Uh, we like the summary that we were given. Um, then we can pin that question. And not only does that protect it against reshuffles, it also reifies that whole chain, um, the text that you were writing, the question, and its search results into a graph-based data structure, making that whole chain of thought like accessible and queryable. So a quick summary of what you just saw. Uh, what's happening is you're writing an essay um, or a product specification or a journal entry, whatever. It asks you a list of provocative questions to help you explore the subject matter more fully. Turns out you've already thought about those questions to some degree or the concepts in those questions. It will then show you those thoughts uh, when you click on one of the questions and that'll help you figure out your own answer. So you might be wondering why even have the intermediate step of generating questions? Why not just look for notes that are semantically similar to the one that you're writing? Um, one is that it helps encourage a certain style of thinking, a more research-oriented thinking style. Um, the user may simply write a response to the question, not even bothering to convert it into a search. And two, if it just shows you a list of related pages and paragraphs, then you don't really know how they're related. It's missing some context. If instead you select a question first, then it's clear why the result is related to the original text. It's through the question. Backlinks, as we see in traditional tools for thought, um, also fall into this category of like, they're a smart default for related items, um, but you don't know exactly how they're related besides containing the same words between double brackets. Uh, by saving a selection, question, evidence, summary, chain, you've made connections between multiple documents in a meaningful way. Just to be clear, uh, none of this is built yet. It's just a demo, and I'd love to work with apps on incorporating flows like this that use a large language model's capabilities in more creative ways than just fancy autocomplete a semantic search bar or prompt templates as packaged as buttons. Um, I could picture this workflow fitting in uh, multiple applications that feature both reading and searching.